people would be afraid of flesh if they're also afraid of blood? Because don't they have flesh? I think that, I don't know if there's a deep meaning to it, but I thought it was kind of like, if you're afraid of what's inside the flesh, you're probably afraid of it too. Well, I guess that makes sense. Well, maybe you should get over it and just be okay with your body. Tell that to people with eating disorders everywhere and see how that goes. <laughs> did you know that Sega did what Nintendo don't? What the heck? That used to be a, a thing that they would say. That sounds really cringy, like you just find that wallpaper on Facebook in 2007. It was pretty cringy. I am trying to remember what we were doing. You'd also see like a minion next to it. A minion? <laughs> well, we finished the plate puzzle. And you wanted to go back there because oh, we didn't finish yeah. going through the door. Oh, right, right, And right. that was in the nurse center. Thank you. See, that's very helpful. So that should be on floor one. I just made everybody watching this Let's Play go, thank God somebody remembered. I think floor one. Also, I have like an issue because this controller is better than the DualShock 3. In my opinion, it's more comfortable. Uh-huh. You should tell people you're using, like, a controller that looks like a 360 controller, though. I am. But the problem is that the, the I don't know, buttons here, like, these buttons are just kind of uncomfortable. What's wrong with it? For these, the D-pad. It feels oh. cheap. Oh, well, the D-pad has always been not great. It's great on the Series X. Yeah, but I mean, on the 360 controllers, it's not great on any of them, in my opinion. No, you're right. You're not. Yeah. It always hurt my thumb, too, and I don't even have chronic pain. But I think it's because it's so raised up. Like, do you notice how on the controller it's, like, raised up, like, on a little mountain? On the Series X, it's not. It's not raised up. It's, like, on the controller, so it's easier for your thumb to just go to it. Right. It's, like, more sleek and ergonomic if that yeah, is ergonomic that the word? is the word yeah, yeah. Uh, in or its design I don't know. yeah is this oh okay so we're through the plate door and now we found like a hump woman well i wasn't firing shoot please please shoot please shoot please shoot this is the worst combat i've ever done yes i know i'm bad at it how do you kick the person oh <laughs> yeah, i did it i did it he kicked her hump i did kick her hump that's not nice it's not hump day anymore bitch oh no all right, so now okay, we're in good shape for that. Let's check our. You should call bullets. this. You should call this part bullying people with genetic disorders, because you're bullying hump people, and that's a genetic disorder. You know, I'm running out of ammo. Well, you're gonna have to hit people with your crowbar like your Joker. Yeah, this is actually not great. So we are gonna do this because I I am genuinely running out of ammo and. Uh, need to find more. And I didn't think that was going to happen because I had a lot. Why don't you just pretend every enemy is named Jason? Jason! <laughs> that makes it a lot See, easier, that huh? Worked. That actually worked. Can I kick you? Can I kick you? Nope. Kick her in between the legs. Didn't work. Let's go this way. Oh. Come on. Come here. Come on. What's with all of these women? That's a question I've asked myself my entire life. This is a misogynist's worst nightmare. What, women? Yeah. Everywhere. Just non-stop. <laughs> the kick looks so silly. <laughs> I like it. Oh, look, a key! There is a basement storeroom key. Hey, key we haven't been able to get in there yet. And then there's a belt there. Every father from the 50s, like, wet dream. Hey, look, there's some fluids. Let's put those in Kitty. Ugh, it's sad that we need to do that so much. I know. Alright, so we can head out of here. This is creepy. You're creepy. Okay. I decorated this place, actually, and I don't like you, uh... This being, is a forced joke, Jill. Being mean to my interior design skills. It's like but you're... Satan decorated this place. Well, Are you being mean to Satanists? Are you against Satanism? Yeah, because it's edgy. It's just unnecessarily edgy. Hey, have you noticed that it's not okay to pick on anybody's religion except for Christians and Satanists? I don't think people really do pick on Satanism other than just calling it edgy. That's true. Because most people who are, like, Satanists don't even actually believe in anything. They're just, like... They're trying to be edgy? Yeah, they're, they're, um... What was that alcohol bottle looks like? Basically, what they're doing is they're just, like, rebelling against an order, right? T wouldn't like that alcohol bottle being empty. Well, he would like it being empty, but only after he's had his say. That's true. Can I kick you? No. Alright, well. Nothing unusual. 
So there was nothing else on that table over there? Because I thought I saw like a square. It's a belt. Oh, okay. It looks like it should be a thing, right? It's rendered, but yeah. it's, not, it's a nothing. Yeah, because they used it to like strap people down under the table before they used the ice pick on them. Probably. Is the ice pick there? I, I don't know, but this kind of seems like it's supposed oh. to be... Because isn't this place an asylum? I'm pretty sure like the other world version of it is supposed to be like um, a... Really messed up asylum? Yeah, like a messed up one that you would have found a long time ago that did like the ice pick surgeries and, you know, um, called the people with like mental disabilities, like, you know, people who are so autistic that they're like, Whoa. you know, um, not able to function really. Like, I guess low functioning autistic people, they would call those people crazy and they'd lock them up in cells a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know about the abuse that went on in mental hospitals. It's pretty sad. Yeah, it, so it kind of seems like this place is supposed to be kind of like that. Like a like, dark version of a mental hospital. Yeah, right? yeah. And it kind of seems like these nurses are, um, hot. They're trying to get you. Oh, sorry. It's like they want to lock you up and ice pick you. Yeah, very possible. I, um... And, I mean, they might be able to, considering that I don't even have, uh... Ammo, yeah. Ammo. So let's go down to floor one. I think we can save there again, right? Since we did get some stuff that we need. I don't know. I don't know where the save point is. It's hard to remember. Yeah, as well. But because we... every floor looks the same. It's all rusty and dirty and bloody. Well, soon we will be out of here. We've actually made some good progress here. I think it's in the storeroom down there. Or the office. I don't remember which, but it's one of the two. Um, I thought there was one on the third floor in, like, a computer room. I believe that, too, but let's just go in one of these. Not that one. I think it's the one next door. Okay. Well, I'll believe in you. If you're wrong, though, I'm going to make fun of you. But you had no idea where it was anyway, so... Really? <laughs> I, th I genuinely thought there was one here. Loser! Uh, yeah, I was thinking the police station. Well, whatever. We're not gonna die. Let's just go to the basement. Okay. I mean, it's not like the game is easy, but, like, it's not... So, um, I think there was a safe at the reception, actually. I can't get there. Oh. They lock it off. We there used was, to be able to. Yeah, there was in the normal world, right? Yeah. But in the other world, there's not. Well, then how do we get to the basement in this world? Do we take the elevator? Either that or the stairs. I don't know. I'm going to try the elevator first. Okay. Because I remember there was an area where there was a specific door that you could take to go down the stairs to the basement. There is, yes. There's that, too. But now that i got a key, I'm thinking we might just be okay. Yay! A key. Every time the screen goes black and it doesn't load for a bit, I'm worried that we went somewhere and there's going to be a big cutscene. And... Why are you worried about that? Isn't that good? Well, Progressing the story? Yeah, but like, you not when the, the story is scary. No, the story is scary. Then you don't want to progress the story. You just want to be like, this is my home now. Are you a big baby? Yeah, kind of. No one, you. I really like horror games. Also, you. But they're scary. I do like horror games, but they are scary. I think I have a good point here. You're scary. I don't want to progress the game. I'll you, you literally played for five minutes, and you're like, I can't do this. It's too scary. It's too hard. You do it. Well, I didn't want to die over and over and put everybody through that. But that's not the only reason you didn't play. Get that purple sponge. That is shotgun shells, which I actually really need. This can be pushed. Ooh, a secret door? Um, okay, stupid. Come on, Harry. Is this Harry Potter all grown up, you think? And he forgot how to do magic. There we go. Um, I think this is Harry Potter if the Billingsleys, or no, what was their name? Yeah. Uh, the Dumbledorfs or whatever, the people who abused him, they like really got their claws into him. I forgot their name too. It was like... Dursleys. Yes, the Dursleys. Yes, yes. So, this is weird. This seems to be like a torture. Or it's... Huh. Mmm, a drain. For the blood. Looks like a hallway under the grate. I don't want to go down there. Uh, we could probably cut it with our, like, sharp thingamabob that we're holding. No, oh, so... Oh, don't you have a knife? I don't think it's the knife. I think you have to mix the chemicals. Oh. 
Oh, is this Resident Evil 1? This just looks like we're jerking it. Poor disinfecting alcohol Didn't on it? the vines. Yes. Oh. I've seen this in a music video. I'll try it. The vines absorb the alcohol. Okay, now you light them up with fire. Use your lighter. Yep, I'm definitely not clicking the wrong button on accident again. That didn't happen. Well, this one didn't look like we're jerking it, so... Nice! I like how he put his foot in it on accident, because that wasn't animated perfectly. Maybe he was cold. Right. Sometimes, my, sometimes my tootsies get cold, and I have to put them real close to the heater. So, I'm thinking there's a boss down here. Ooh! Is that why they gave you shotgun shells? Yes. You know how douchey it would be to go through the entire game having not found the shotgun, but they give you shotgun shells? It would suck, and it could happen very easily. But then you don't get any handgun ammo sometimes, and it's like, really? Yeah, well, so that's kind of the problem with when you have... I mean, it's the same thing with Resident Evil. You could go through and miss, like, weapons. Oh, yeah, like the know. grenade launcher? Which I think is cool because you can still beat the game without it, but it would really suck to be put in that oh. position, you know? Which gun was the one that um, that guy dropped in the room with the gigantic snake that you and T missed? I don't know. I thought that was, like, um, either the grenade launcher or something else. Maybe not. Because I remember you guys missed a gun and you were like, aw. Yeah, there's a grenade launcher and there's like a power, like a more powerful shotgun, I think maybe. Mm -hmm. Some stuff like that. So I'm at a bit of a loss because I came down here, right? Mm -hmm. And now it says that this door is jammed. Well, maybe you should have brought some oil and oiled it up. The lock is jammed. Uh, okay, I don't really have anything I can use on this. Uh, well, do you think we need to go back? What? What's that, like, red thing next to it? Is that just a bloody wheelchair. chair? It's a wheelchair. Oh. Well, why don't we just sit in that and take a little break and wheel ourselves around and go, wee? Did you ever think that would be fun as a kid? Yeah, I sat in one once and I um, rolled around in it and went, wee, at the store, because I found one at a store. And then my dad was like, don't do that. If you do that, you'll be cursed to lose your legs someday. Your dad's an idiot. And I was, like, afraid that I was going to lose my legs ever since. That's really stupid. And you know what the worst part about that was? My grandma on his side had a thing called MS. It's multiple sclerosis. And it made her lose the use of her legs when she was in her 30s. Uh, and she could never walk again. She had to be in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. So I was terrified that that was going to happen to me. Do you think it's because she sat in a wheelchair one time? Yeah. Yeah, I bet your dad thinks so. Probably. And the bullets. The thing, scary thing about that is nobody knows if it's genetically, um, like, passed down or not, like, as a hereditary thing. So, um, like... I'm terrified that someday I'll just randomly get MS because of my grandma, you know? That is actually kind of scary, but I don't think you will. Let's cut ahead here. So somehow I missed something in the basement that I was supposed to find. I've been stuck for a little while because I don't, I didn't see this thing, right? Because I don't have a map when you get down here. I thought that this was just a hallway and ended, mm -hmm. but somewhere there is a door that I missed somehow. Uh, I'm not really sure how I missed it, but I did. So. Did you notice that door we just went through is, like, really thin? Yeah. That's fat shaming. Well, this seems to me to be, like, a secret area that wasn't supposed to be in use for medical treatment. Ooh. But there is supposed this to be... This is where they brought the really bad patients. There's supposed to be some kind of door... See, I didn't see this. I didn't see it either. It looked like part of the... Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, my. Look at her. Those oh, ladies okay. don't like you. Okay. He said, oh, Harry. Oh, Harry, please. I don't have the map for this place. That's well, they gr keep grabbing my nipples. Can they keep grabbing my nipples? <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> they're me, oh. and Harry is you. Well, this is really annoying. All right, you know what? Let's just do this real quick. When you take off your shirt at night, and I just really want to touch those nips. Do you like the noises they make, or no? I mean, I don't not like them. It reminds me of the hit mobile game, Cunt Empire. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. <laughs> I was gonna, speaking of mobile games, by the way, I was actually gonna ask you something. Mm-hmm. I wanted your opinion on. Mm -hmm. Has there ever been a game that you thought could have made a lot of money mm -hmm. if more effort went into it and more care went... Oh my. What was that? And more care went into it. But because it never... Oh my. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving. Okay. <laughs> but because it never did, it didn't do well. Um... See, I don't know, because I don't know whether or not some games do well or not, but I do know that some of the games that I've played that have been mobile, I think, would have been way better if they were actually full-on console games. One of them was this game, I forget the name of, but it came out in May this year as a mobile game, and um, you, like, got these little people that um, were, like, the cards that I showed you. Uh, let me look up the name. You're so saying um a lot. Stop being mean to me. There's a lot of um. Well, it's because I can't remember it. Alright, what's this? Our door. Lock is jammed. Door can't be open. Lock is jammed. Door can't be open. Oops. Can't believe I missed all this. What's this? Oh. Looks like someone's been here. Alessa. I guess he was supposed to say Alessa. Hmm. Oh, there's a key next door. Examination room key. We're gonna have to go there. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I almost missed all of this just because I didn't know it was here. What's on the wall? Painting? Can't examine it, I guess. Well... I do think, though, to speak to your uh, statement, Cunt Empire would have probably been a better AAA console game. I agree, I agree, because it would have been easier to play it on. Um, I'm trying to find this mobile game. So they had Alessa down here, that little girl. Oh, like they were torturing her down here, you think? Kind of, yeah. Oh my. Or like treating her. That was that girl that we saw earlier in the school. Yeah. Pretty sure that was not all above board. But now that we have... Yeah, and look at... So, obviously, this was all hidden away because if you look at the door and everything... Whoa. It was literally behind... In a storeroom. In a secret passage behind a bookcase. Yeah, it was supposed to be hidden. Nobody was no, supposed to know she was down there. That's pretty fucked up. I wonder what they did to her down there and why she was down there. What the I, heck? I don't know. I don't know what they did. Is that really what you think? I don't I don't know. I know she was tortured. I don't know if she was tortured sexually. Uh, but I know she was put through hell. Let's go to... I don't remember which floor this is on, but... We got the examination room key. We also got a video. I can't remember what the name of that game was called, but it, I, th I think it would have been better. Most mobile games would be better as a console game. I just, I can't remember because they called them something weird, like, um, like, like, gosh, it was, I kind of thought it started with an E and they called them like weird things. And these, all of these people were um, kind of like mutants where they turned into heroes. Kind of like the plot of My Hero Academia. But, like, all of these people in this music-based game turned into different types of heroes. Like, one girl turned into a Valkyrie at the very beginning. And, like, there was another girl who kind of turned into something else that was based off of a goddess of singing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, I remember this game. I just don't know the name of it either because I also I don't really play mobile games. For there the was, most part. There's this other guy who was based off of Eros, like the Cupid god. Mm -hmm. 
So if anybody knows what I'm talking about, leave the name in the comments. But like, it's kind of it's supposedly a popular game, I guess. Uh, Is it but, Raid Shadow Legends? No. Dun, 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 dun. But I just think that game would have been way better if they put more effort into the story and if they'd have made it a console game because I thought it was fun for what it was, but I got bored of it after a while because it was mostly just microtransactions. That makes so I sense. deleted it. That's the real problem with uh, with mobile, just in general. And that's why I don't like that they're bringing that over to console games that you have to pay for first, like NBA 2K23. It's like if I'm paying for the full fucking game... I don't want to pay for anything else. Right. You know, like make the game more expensive then. It's a, it's a really annoying process now. Yeah, I mean, I, a lot I would, of games are getting that way. I would pay $100 for a game if they gave me everything and I didn't have to pay for microtransactions. I would too. Yeah. Still unusual fever. Don't get pulse just barely skin is all something why something to that child weird won't tell please so somebody found her they found Alessa yeah I think they figured out what was going on that like they were torturing her down there and stuff yeah so pretty much we found out so far that there was a young girl who went to silent hill school and i guess she must have had some mental problems so they brought her to the asylum and then the asylum people chose her and probably for a cult or something then brought her downstairs and like brutally tortured her and now she's probably stuck in this other world too yeah, there's a lot going on with that. I mean, there's more that I know about it that I don't want to tell you yet. But uh, the kid wasn't chosen randomly, actually. Oh, really? Really. So, like, did people torture her on purpose? Yes. That's horrible. And we're going to find out why? I think you do. I, I think you find out why. Some things you have to fill in the blanks. Uh, Alessa is actually, um, you know, the woman that we met in the church? Uh -huh. I believe that's her daughter. Really? Yeah. Oh. She was that crazy lady, right? Yeah. Oh. Who gave us the pyramid. Oh, my. We still haven't figured out what to do with that yet. And we were wondering where Cheryl is. Maybe that woman from the church, do you think if we pull up her dress, we'll find out that her butthole is pyramid-shaped? Yeah, and then we'll know to put it back in. Yeah. It's actually, she's just really kinky and into nurse stuff and, uh... I don't know, like, nun stuff. And, and she, she gets off to her daughter being tortured. I mean, okay, but Jill, like, which of us on our worst day doesn't? What you do know? you mean? What? I don't understand. What? Oh, my. All so, right. are we done at the hospital yet, or do we still have to go somewhere else? Didn't or, we get an examination room key? Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, my. What are we going to examinate? The nun's butt. <laughs> 